Prime Minister, I know as well, um, and I say congratulations to the good gentleman. Absolutely. All Absolutely. of us here in Antigua, Barbuda, we know we love the good gentleman. Yeah, man, that's a national hero. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> when he sees me nowadays, he say, oh, you're no longer Buffalo soldier because you're switch side, you know? But, Prime Minister, quickly. That's what he said? Yeah. Uh, and let me ask you this, because I know recently, <laughs> yeah, he often tells me that, no doubt about it. Uh, uh, let, me, uh, let me say this to you, Prime Minister. Um, he also got a CARICOM award recently. Yes. You nominated him, am I correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was, were you the one who nominated him for this one? What, for what? The, the $2 to dollar the parliament. Note. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You did? Absolutely. Now, I, I had a discussion with a couple and a few other people after the news broke about the commemorative $2 bill. Mm -hmm. And they said to me, you know, Senator, we hear this all the time. I actually had a discussion and I was telling them, I don't think the Prime Minister is the one who nominated Sir Viv for the commemorative $2 note. And they said, you're wrong. Check it out. You can ask the Prime Minister when he comes in on Saturday if he's going to be with you. Now, Prime Minister, uh, the, per the persons that I've spoke to on two occasions, they said to me, how come that Viv, Sir Viv never ever came back and said, thank you? <laughs> Has he has he, I'm just asking before we go to the break and then open the lines. Has he ever come Is back? Is he asking? <laughs> <laughs> We're not hearing anything. Uh, well, well, look, uh, let's put it this way. Yeah? Um, I mean, it's my friend, you know. I, 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 I am happy to have been in a position to nominate um, Sir Viv, uh, you know, as one of um, our only yes, living national hero uh, for the Caricom Award and certainly, um, you know, to, uh, to have his... Um, his image on this two dollar note. Yeah, I feel very proud, yes, and yes. Um, you know I have always been very fond of um, Saviv. My you, you, you would note that, for example, um, when we were in opposition, mm -hmm. we had um, a picture of um, Saviv on our manifesto. Mm -hmm. But within that manifesto, this we had pledged to go to Parliament and to pass a benefit act in which we'll look after him until he dies. And that's something that we did. So, yes. so Viv, as a national hero, he's been taken care of by the state. Mm -hmm. But he made a big fuss about it. I don't know what for, because at the end of the day, you know, it was a public image. And I've said to Sir Viv before, in fact, I'll never be disrespectful to him. Uh, you know, people like Sir Viv and, you know, uh, MacLean Emanuel, Sir MacLean Emanuel, you know, um, Opsti and so on. You know, these are national treasures that we have to continue to respect, no matter the circumstances. But I've said to Viv, Sir Viv, look, man, you have to rise above the partisan aspect of the politics. You're a national hero. Hmm. You're a national hero for Gaston Brown. For all Labour Party supporters, Everybody. for UPBites. Everybody. And I don't know, for some reason, Sir Viv doesn't seem to be able to rise above that partisan behavior. I don't know why he will be condemning you for supporting the Labour Party. And <laughs> you're right. You know, he is not very thankful of anything we've done for him. And that's fine. I, I think it's my obligation as the Prime Minister of the country to look within the population and to see how I can um, promote. Um, you know, Antigans and Barbudans, deserving Antigans and Barbudans. I, I can tell you that for the um, image on our two dollar note, uh, there were many nominations. Uh, his nomination, and as you said, he was nominated by me, that succeeded. Uh, I am not worried about him not saying thanks. That is something that, you know, he has done um, yes, constantly. He doesn't um, thank the Labour Party for anything. So but the people I'm just right. saying here, <laughs> that Saviv needs to rise beyond that type of um, partisan behavior. Because at the end of the day, to the best of my knowledge, the Labour Party has, you know, has um, empowered Viv in many ways. And um, I can say too that without, without getting into any details, even when he ended up with some financial problems with a project in which I believe um, his good friend Harold Lovell was one of his advisors. Again, his Labour Party stepped in and mm. told the particular financial institution in the region to back off. So we love him and we'll continue to promote him. And um, maybe he needs to understand that his role at this point is not to give no partisan support to any political party, mm. neither Labour nor UPP, but to stay above yes, the fray and just to enjoy his life. I'm not saying he can't um, engage in national discourse, but. Uh, as a national hero and someone who we are extremely proud of. In fact, 
I continue to post some of his exploits on my Facebook page. I'm just so proud of the type of, um, you know, courage, um, his resilience. I, I just think that, uh, you know, the, the gentleman <coughs> represents the best yes, of um, Antiguan uh, talent yes. and resilience. Yes. Uh, that um, I don't know there's absolutely any need for him to have any antipathy towards me or anybody in the Labour Party. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd have to tell you, notwithstanding his partisan stance and even mean things that he said about me, I want a cage and a good friend of mine reported um, to me he was at Recreation Grounds calling me a crazy man. I said, it's all right. I still survive. I still love him. Mm -hmm. and um, We all love him. But, uh, you know, he's a national treasure and I, I just think he needs to stay off the free. Yeah. And be thankful, you know, no matter how you know, how um, small a contribution or the mm -hmm. support that somebody may have given to you or state or a particular institution, be thankful. Mm -hmm. be That's thankful. all I have to say. Be thankful. This is Antigua Breaking News.